Hello my crafty friends, Lisa here. Today's little video is about tools, <laughs> specifically eyelet setting tools. There were some questions when this little tool kit made an appearance the other day, so I thought I would just turn the camera on and just tell you what I know. So setting eyelets and making holes tools have really evolved in the paper crafting world we've gone from way back scrapbooking days having this toolkit which by the way i still love to the cropo dial and the big bite the thing about this tool is it only reaches in this far it only goes an inch and a half so your reach is fairly limited as to where you can set an eyelet or even where you can punch a hole. So as good as this tool is, it pretty much limits us to the ends of tags and about an inch and a half reach. This big daddy gives you a six inch reach. For scrapbookers, a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, this gets you halfway into that sheet of paper. So you can go anywhere on the page that you wanna go to set an eyelet. It's big, it's bulky, it's hard to store, and it's expensive. Not everybody has this, nor do they want this in their crafting space. This is a multi-purpose kit. They've been around for a really long time. If you ever see one of these at a yard sale, snatch them up. This is a really, really easy, versatile kit to use for setting eyelets and punching holes. The thing about eyelets is you have to have the right size hole for the right size eyelet. If the hole is too small and you have excess paper in the way of the hole, the eyelets won't set correctly. Or if you make a hole too big, obviously it's gonna be a problem as well. So the first thing we wanna start with is making a hole. That's this tool here. The black end of this tool is a hole punch. In the kit, there should be three different sizes. There's an eighth of an inch, which is super tiny. There's this three sixteenths of an inch, which corresponds to the small eyelets that you can find just about anywhere. Stampin' Up, Michaels, and these are making memories, which is what this toolkit is. So this corresponds with the small ones. There's another tip in here, which is a quarter inch. Here's the big one. And it corresponds with the larger eyelets. We don't see these much around anymore. Uh, I really love these. This whole size is exactly the same size as this. It's just that this has a bigger flange around the hole, but they're exactly the same size. The quarter inch fits these just fine. So you make a hole really easy. Whoops, I don't want to lose that baby. We're going to set that down and smack it with the hammer and just make a hole. You want to be careful what you're smacking into. This little pad is designed for these tools. You could use one of the uh, self-healing mats, but you don't want to use these directly on your table. You will mark up your table surface. So there's the hole. Really easy. And one of the things I've learned over the years is if the paper doesn't fall through this channel, I make sure that I clean out the end of this because just making holes and making holes and making holes and stacking that up with paper, at some point it doesn't want to come out. So there's the hole. We're just going to set an eyelet in there. Really simple, easy peasy. I'm going to grab an eyelet. I'm just going to set it down on my little mat. I'm going to take my paper and set it right over the top of the eyelet because I want it shank side up. Whoops, and of course it fell out. Dog gone it. Let's just grab another one, set it down, shank side up, hang on to that paper. There you have it, it's shank up, right? So the other tool you need is this guy here. The flat end is the one you wanna hit with the hammer the other end has a little flower looking thing at the end of it, and there's a bump in the center of that. That bump goes in the center of this eyelet. So you set that bump down and you give it a couple smacks with the hammer. It's gonna be loud, sorry. And whoops, I can tell I didn't get it quite flat. 
and there you have your eyelet all set easy peasy it opens up on the back it looks like it's broken and that's the way that it's supposed to look if it doesn't break open then it's not going to stay in the paper you want to hit it again with your hammer and your tool so for a larger eyelet all you do is change the tip so we're going to take this one off grab the larger one which is the quarter inch and just screw it in and now you have a larger hole punch and the process is exactly the same there's my hole here's my eyelet oh good green I don't use green for anything and I'm I need this little guy it's got the little flower on the end I'm gonna put that right in the center of that shank and give it a couple smacks and there you go there is your eyelet oh I gave it one too many I kind of smashed it a little bit each company's eyelets are a little bit different so this will take some practice with whatever materials you have on hand one of the things I found over the years is that Stampin Up's eyelets are really really soft so you can squish those really nicely with your cropo dial if you can reach it but you can also use a hole punch a regular old hole punch to set a Stampin Up eyelet yeah these work just fine with the Stampin Up ones so that is the basis of this tool of course you can use the tweezers for anything I'm missing the paper piercer here I used it for years to peel the score tape backing off I love that tool and I was giving a class and I just never saw it again it was, I'm really disappointed because I wish I still had that little paper piercer this one the Tim Holtz one is nice but it doesn't quite feel the same so we all have our favorites right <laughs> so that's the basics of the tool you've got your hole punch and your little eyelet setter I love this kit it is so versatile and it's so easy to store you can just pop it in a drawer you have everything you need for the available size eyelets that we have today so uh, these are really nice these little round nose pliers these are jewelers pliers by the way if you're working with wire or you want to make loops or uh, jump rings or anything these are really great well maybe not so much for jump rings but the other thing I found that is really nice with these is if you have a really soft eyelet that maybe has lost its round you can put them on the end of these you not want to squish them what we're gonna do is make your eyelet round again because these jeweler pliers are round you can make that little eyelet round again and still continue to use it so there you go um, the needles are great for paper piercing as well or stitching a binding in a journal so there you have it there is the basis of the toolkit I was asked about if you have one of these I hope you can get it out and give it a whirl and see what you think it is a little bit noisier than the cropo dial but you're going to be able to put an eyelet anywhere you want to put an eyelet so until next time be well and I hope to talk to you very very soon